In this video, let's look at a new factoring technique called factoring by grouping. Uh, now this technique is usually used when your polynomial has specifically four terms. So these guys can be usually be pretty easy to spot because you see a polynomial that has four terms, and then you're asked to factor it. The first thing you should think would be factor by grouping. You should at least try this technique. So anyways, th here's how we do factor by grouping. If you have four terms, you're gonna group with parentheses the first two terms and the last two terms. And then in each of these groups, you're gonna factor each of those separately, looking for any common factors in each of those groups. Now, if you factor those out, the whole polynomial is not gonna be factored because we still have these two big groups. But what will typically happen is if factor by grouping works, you'll have a common binomial factor in each of the two groups. Then you can pull that common binomial factor out then the whole polynomial will be factored. So anyways, I know these steps may not make a whole lot of sense until you see an example. So let's, um, let's try an example and then we'll, we'll look at the steps as we walk through the sky. So here we're, we're being asked to factor this uh, big polynomial here. The first thing I notice is that it has one, two, three, four terms. So immediately I'm thinking, mm, let's at least check out factor by grouping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna group the first two terms, and then we're gonna group the last two terms. Now, not to get off on a tangent real quick, but I do need to make a, a quick little side comment. Here we have a plus, and so we can just put parentheses here and here. If, however, this had been a minus, then notice you would have had to change this sign because, you know, like for, for this example, we would have had to change it to a plus, because if you had left it a minus, and then you wanted to get rid of the parentheses and you distributed the negative and wrote minus six, you would actually have plus 30 uh, if you drop the parentheses. So you need to change the parentheses if you're gonna group the last two terms and you have subtraction in the middle. But that's not what we have. So we'll, we'll just group the, um, the last two terms and this is totally fine. Then we're gonna factor the first group and we're gonna factor the second group using GCFs. Looking at the first group here, x cubed minus 5x squared, those have a common factor of x squared. We'll pull that out and we'll have remaining an x minus 5. Then in the second group, we'll have 6x minus 30 with a common factor of 6. We'll pull that out and we'll have remaining an x minus 5. Now we're not done here. A lot of students will stop right here, but this isn't factored still because we still have addition right here. The whole thing needs to be a, uh, a product. But what I do notice is that the first group has an X minus five and the second group also has a packet, a group of X minus five. So if we pull out that common factor from these two terms here, we'd pull out an X minus five and then left over from the first group, we'd have an x squared. And from the second group, we'd have a plus six. And so now the entire polynomial, this original polynomial in white, without the parentheses, factors as x minus five times x squared plus six. So anyways, that's how we do factor by grouping. We group the first two terms and the last two terms. You factor each group using greatest common factors. And then if, uh, if it's possible to factor by grouping, those two groups should have some common binomial factor that you can factor in, and factor the whole entire polynomial. So anyways, uh, that's how we do factor by grouping.